Hello everyone, welcome to ABC Tutorial and this is Reza with you. Today I will show you uh, point of sale part number 21 and in this part actually I will show you invoice how you can make invoice. So before making invoice we have to confirm few of our uh, entry page like uh, product, category and batch. This kind of information already we developed these pages in our previous videos so you can see our previous videos then you can step by step create the uh, product page edit and everything so actually crude operations already done and authorization login things already done so now today i will show you the best and the most exciting part what actually the uh, what will what actually will i will show you uh, how you can manage your stock and how you can sell a product or how you can enter a product into the invoice so uh, before starting please keep subscribe my channel so um, i'm just uh, moving to the visual studio project so already you can download this project from my website which is abctutorial.com and you can download this code as well as from my website and i, I have a few article a few mean all article in my website so you can see step by step so uh, for invoice things so first uh, for invoice i will just open my uh, chrome browser So search invoice template bootstrap just search using this keyword and a lot of website will be uh, shown here and I will open one by one and I will choose which template I mean invoice template I will select for my project so this is one template see this is invoicing one product another product another product so price as you understand already that this this is the actual this is actually the uh, standard template of the invoice right so i will uh, I, I will see other templates so i will never take this template and this is another template so so as you know this is actually the project i mean the template what we are using in our current pro project uh, in point of sale this is actually written in bootstrap 4 so that means bootstrap 4 mean uh, we can actually <coughs> we can uh, uh, we can take the bootstrap 4 uh, templates as well right so see version 4 bootstrap start bootstrap version 4 so here also this is bootstrap 4 inverse template so I can just copy this control a select and I will make a page so you you know already that if you see my previous video how we are making our pages so actually pages will be first authorization filter um, attribute Authorization filter public action result invoice return here. So if we make add view and this is five add invoice. <coughs> So um, if I just close this, see already view created. So I will just copy this and I will first I will run the project. If I log in. So I already to oh, added two menu by editing. So this is actually I write I, I, I named it as a management and it's already I named it as a order. So if I go in layout, see here I 
named it order order there is two page i will create uh, invoice and manage order so for invoice home in, home controller invoice method i already write this so this is our link so um, if i click here it should redirect me to home invoice okay so <clears throat> i can access this invoice because i have access uh, for my role so already i given this data inside the database so if i don't have this uh, role what happened i will show you now see this is our role permission right see here for admin it's already exist if i delete this first i will copy then i will delete this see if i try to access this page you are not authorized that means actually this page is not accessible for me so that's why i should give a access for myself i mean for admin now i can access if i click on invoice then see invoice is coming so now the template what we selected i will copy now now i will just paste all the uh, i mean the template what i copied from website i will just paste here and if i reload the page see this is our invoice what we see in, in, in the, the oh, code open dot io so this is actually the template what we will use so so this is actually in middle of the page so i will try to um, just move it to right side okay so for moving it right side I will take another div, I will take a class float, float right, okay. so under float right, I will, sorry, I will paste all the codes, so if I reload, see it's right side, okay, so I will now in our case what will be this will be our um, this will be our i mean uh, i mean uh, the our company information okay so i will just remove this from and i will put here my um, company logo so i have already maybe added my company logo here okay i will just write my company name here maybe okay so that's enough so two two is the i also i will just delete it and inst here is the name so this is actually the uh, name so actually the name we will input from here right it's customer name who who, uh, who buy the product or anything from us okay so actually i will write the name here so it should have a input box here so i will place the input box here <coughs> type this text this folder is customer name okay so i will just if i reload the page see this is the input box and i will put the name and this is actually address and uh, this is email phone number so in our database so i need to check how many information i required for our case otherwise uh, for a sales detail it's actually product detail so in in sale i will have customer name phone number and address so these three information I required customer name, address, phone number, these three information. Okay. So <coughs> instead of this, I will put another here called text area. And instead of uh, this, I will put 
phone number phone okay and it will be number time so if i reload the page see input box is uh, placed here properly but see here it looks very odd because it has a border so i will try to make it borderless so i will write css so if i provide only border less border no so if i add this class to the input box check border is yes <coughs> border is disappeared here so i will also use this class to all the text area and text input box okay text or number if you see customer name address if i click i can write if i click i can write if i click i can write the number so this is actually the customer information and this will be manually our company information so like this is our actually com original company information now come to the order list okay so here actually i i will select item one by one okay so here i will select one item mobile here i will select another laptop and if i select laptop then this laptop's category or description will be shown here and unit cost will be automatically shown here from where from see here the product information sorry product stock because product is a generic things so samsung a71 but for number one product so if i see the product number one which is samsung a71 so see samsung a71 first batch is uh, purchase price, price 1000 usd but second batch samsung a71 purchase price is 44 usd so i mean i will sell it by 55 so this price i mean this 45 or 1000 when i will select um, product samsung one a uh, 71 and if any batch is active this batch's product price will be shown here automatically just i will change the quantity then quantity will be multiplied uh, multiplied by unit cost then total will be shown here so now uh, if i just uh, put a um, test data then you can understand what happened what will be happen actually here so i will put a select now we put a drop down here like some Okay, I'm just uh, writing manual things now but later I will show you for your better understanding just setting the templates I'm just uh, showing you so this is Samsung uh, this is okay and like this is, uh, this is I will show you I will show here uh, instead of description I'll show you I will show category and like here it will show as mobile okay category mean product product category one product work on category one mean it is maybe mobile mobile okay so I will show product category here the product price and quantity and this price actually this price will be automatically shown from database just this quantity i will provide manually from uh, my our keyboard so i will put here a input box like this number input box so i'll put a number <coughs> input box and this will be okay, if i just reload the page See if I select Samsung A51 then category will be first it will be blank if I select Samsung A71 so if I <coughs> just okay. 
okay first it will be selected okay so if i select a 7451 mobile will be select and price will be shown here and just i will put quantity 3 and 3 will be multiplied by this amount and total will be shown here automatically so that means only two things i will change here one item another quantity and like this all will be dynamic and uh, if i want to add lot of product then i can add lot of product so in next video i will show you how we can dynamically add, add this um, product and how we can dynamically entry this invoice i mean uh, make this invoice part so thank you very much for watching this video keep subscribe and keep watching